Hello, my name is Dan Paquette, and I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based here in the United States. Below my name is a QR code that you can scan and connect to me with on LinkedIn. And today's topic is allocating Big Fix licenses via the HCL software license and download portal. If you're a new customer, or if you've been newly added as a user to the license and download portal, you will receive a welcome email from FlexNet Operations. Sometimes this email will get caught in customer spam filters. So please be aware for that and be on the lookout. It'll direct you to the HCL software FlexNet Operations domain in order to log in uh, and create your initial login and password. We commonly refer to this site as the HCL Software License and Download Center, the License and Download Center for Big Fix, but you should note that the License and Download Center also applies for customers that have other HCL software products, for example, AppScan. This site allows you to view your entitlements, create a new Big Fix server serial number for initial install of your Big Fix infrastructure or a new infrastructure, allocate new license counts to existing Big Fix serial numbers, as well as add colleagues to the account to manage allocations. On the screen here is an example of the welcome email that arrives in your inbox. So some helpful hit, tips. If you have access to the license and download portal, it's usually a safe assumption that you have master operator privileges to the Big Fix environment and thus can see the license and overview dashboard within the installed console. If you have master operator privileges, you likely know how to find the Big Fix administration tool, which is used to propagate the new license. You should know the location of your license PVK file. Know the license PVK password, this is very important. And know how to import a license authorization certificate, which is an optional uh, ability you have with the Big Fix administration tool, but may be required if you have an air-gapped Big Fix server. For help with access or site issues, please open a guest support case, uh, or uh, if you have access uh, via your account, uh, relationship with HCL software, please open an official support case. For help with the site and allocating licenses and, and understanding the site, or for anything Big Fix related for that matter, please reach out to your friendly Big Fix technical advisor. So some additional things to know, with Big Fix 10.0.2 on up, you have 15 days grace period to allocate new term licenses if you choose uh, or need to do so. Um, your new term licenses typically start the day after your previous ones expire. That's one reason for the grace period. So don't panic. Just log in a day after or two, two after it expires. And if you've renewed those term licenses, you will see those available for you to allocate. Perpetual licenses do have a longer grace period. So the same thing applies. And you will not see those licenses available to allocate, just like term, until the day they are valid. And we give you uh, more than enough license warning uh, in the navigation tree in the installed console or within the details of the license overview dashboard. And these things I'm covering in this video are also covered via documentation online, and I've included a link on that slide. But you'll note that we actually walk you through the license and download portal interface. And the other link on that slide is a link to a knowledge base article defining exactly what term and perpetual licenses are. So let's jump into the interface. And this is the landing page of the license and download portal. You will get to see all your recent entitlements along with a link to see all of them. So you can interact with the entitlements, download the entitlement certificates and so forth. Any news on recent releases for the various product that you may have relative to your account. You can download various aspects of the Big Fix platform, like the server installer. And then there'll be important announcements, as you see here, for scheduled maintenance. If you want to add users to your account, you come up here to the ribbon at the top of the page, 
And instead of listing users, you're going to the list account view. I'm going to select that account ID by putting a check in the box. And then I'm going to create a user. And when I create a user, there are some required fields like first and last name and email address. The rest of the fields are optional, and I'm going to make them a big fix contact. I'm going to check the box here for the account ID. And then I can give them equal roles as an admin, which would allow them to add users like I am here. Or I can give them a portal user role with download privileges and usage roles to interact with the big fix uh, license allocations and download the certificates. And then I would simply save that user. However, if I want to manipulate an existing big fix license or create a net new uh, big fix server, I come here to devices, click manage big fix serial number. Now notice I have device, create device, offline device. These are not options for big fix. You can ignore those. The only link that's going to be most useful for this conversation is the manage big fix serial number link. And when I click on that, it takes me into a select serial number view. And you'll notice I have tabs here to stage these just so we can save some time. And I can either start typing in a serial number or a name description on a serial number to pull it up immediately. Or I can create a net new serial number. In this case, I'm going to select the serial number I use for demonstrations. And you can see that I have it pulled up here. I get some various information on that serial number in regard to when it was created and last updated. And you'll see I have some allocations already here for Big Fix compliance term license. I have 25 of those. But what I'm really looking to add is the 25 seats of mobile and our new known exploited vulnerability content pack for Cizik Kev. Now I'll give 25 of those licenses. Now, once I allocate those, it'll subtract that quantity from the available quantity from the 110 and the 1143 that I have here for these two license rows, okay? And when I scroll all the way down, you'll note that I have a description here and that is what helps me pull up the serial number by name. When I'm done making my allocations, and I need to do so quickly so that the site does not time out, I'm gonna click the update serial number button. That will generate for me a license authorization token for which I will download, just in case I need it. If I create a new license serial number, the process is very similar. I just don't do a search here. I do the default uh, selection of create new serial number, click next. And I'm rewarded with a very similar interface. And so I can give this one some inventory licenses, which will subtract from that total. I'm also going to give it some Sizikev content, content pack. And, you know, let's give it 100 seats of lifecycle. And when I come down here to the bottom of the screen, it looks very similar. But because it's a new serial number, I don't have a description. I'm just going to call this Dan Portal Demo, just so I know what it was after the fact. I'm going to click Create Serial Number. That then presents me with a download serial number dialog, and I can download the license authorization install file, which allows me to install Big Fix uh, with a production license from my account. When I come over to the Big Fix server, I may or may not notice a key indicator in the license overview dashboard under Big Fix management, and that is. The banner at the top of the page that says the site certificate update is detected and Bez admin or the big fix administration tool must be run to propagate the change. You'll also notice a banner here at the very top that says the server has gathered a new version of your platform license. Now, my server picked this up since I last updated that license. It does not happen that quickly in general. In order to speed up the process, I have a button here called check for license update. And when I click that button, it sends a request, I acknowledge it. And what I typically tell customers to do is to go grab yourself a cup of coffee, make yourself a sandwich, and 10 or 15 minutes later when you come back uh, and you refresh the license overview dashboard, you should see this banner pop up after you've made changes with the license and download portal. Now, I need to propagate this change. 
So I'm going to run the Big Fix Administration tool under my Start menu. I can also put a shortcut to this on my desktop. It's going to ask me for the location of my site uh, license private key. I'm going to hit OK. I have to authenticate to it. And you will see that it goes through some various features like updating the license, validating the new license, and importing the new license, and stopping and restarting key server services. Once this is done, it's going to prompt me to reauthenticate typically. And it brings up the Big Fix administration tool. Now, at this point, that license was automatically propagated, and I generally don't need to do anything else. However, if I'm in an air gapped environment or I'm not seeing the change affected immediately, I can choose off the default tab here the activate masthead option. And I've already saved that license certificate for modification here. And if I click open, it'll go through the exact same process in validating the new license, importing the new license, stopping and restarting server services. And this will take just a moment, but typically very, uh, very quick process. And then once this is complete, I can simply click OK to close out the Big Fix administration tool. And I can either refresh my license overview dashboard, but sometimes it takes five to 10 minutes for uh, that data to properly reflect that this banner in the background um, is gone. There's my re-authentication that I mentioned before. Let's see if we can refresh this. The other way you can uh, speed the refresh on this dashboard is to simply close your console and relaunch it. But that is the basics of how you update your license allocations, but also propagate them to your big fix environment or each big fix environment you potentially have. So I hope you found this video helpful. We have numerous resources to help you with your journey with big fix. Bigfix.com is the obvious one. We have support.bigfix.com, which is really the hub for everything you need from opening support cases, events we have happening, uh, our documentation, downloading our, our Big Fix software and components, our technical enablement classes, which are free and so forth. And we have a very vibrant uh, Big Fix community out at forum.bigfix.com. We also have our LinkedIn and other social media pages. We're also on Reddit. I encourage you once again to scan that QR code above my name. I welcome your connectivity via LinkedIn and I thank you for watching our video today.